welcome back to yet another video in our development series with the Harley Davidson Pan America. In this video, we have saved the best for last and we're gonna be showing you all things forward facing auxiliary lighting. So we're gonna show you guys what we've developed for our forward lighting solutions for the Harley Davidson Pan America and how to install them. Let's get started. So first thing, let's talk about mounting auxiliary lights. So for most bikes, we make one bike specific light mount, but for this Harley Davidson Pan America, there was just such a unique opportunity presented by these lower fairings that originally housed the factory turn signals. So we actually developed two light mounts. So this mount that you see here installed right now is a crossbar across the back and it's designed specifically to mount an auxiliary light in that exact same factory spot as the turn signal. Now, we made a second light mount, more traditional mount. Here's the prototype of it here, and that grabs up to this bar and mounts inside, gives you a rock solid mounting surface for mounting the lights in a more traditional manner. The last thing I wanna mention about this lower light mounting bracket that we've designed is that it also provides the option for mounting below the mounting shelf for folks who want to keep their factory turn signal exactly where it is and not bother with the relocation. So you can see the clever design, we can mount a D4 or other Denali lights on top, but it's also perfectly sized uh, and positioned to mount a light on the bottom side of the bracket, which is the exact same mounting location as the factory lights from Harley Davidson. What we're ultimately providing here is an ideal forward facing visibility package that's gonna put your main distance lights right in the middle, right to the side of your headlight. You're gonna get a bright amber visibility light down low and we're topping it all off with a pair of the turn signals relocated to the hand guards, which is gonna give you the most visibility, the widest footprint, and make you super visible to other motorists on the road while providing a ton of additional light output at night. So to install the forward facing lighting on this Pan America, we're gonna be using our brand new dial dim controller and we've got it laid out on the bench here so we can show you all the components before we get it in the bike. Big picture, it is a brand new innovative way to control LED lighting and it allows you to independently control two sets of lights right through a halo multi-function switch. So here's the controller itself. You put your main lights on the blue circuits left and right. You put your second set of lights or your visibility lights on the green circuit left and right. And then you connect to the battery here. This is the switch lead with the multi-function switch. Comes with a handlebar mounted switch band as well. And then this is our trigger wire harness or input harness that allows you to connect to the vehicle high beam, ignition, left turn, right turn, and horn. And that's how you activate all of the unique features on this dialed in controller. And we'll show you that in detail. The last pieces of the kit are four five foot extensions so you can route your lights all the way from the front of the bike back to where the harness is installed. So what we just showed you is the universal version of this product and you can see you're just using posi taps to connect to the vehicle circuits but we can easily transform this into a vehicle specific kit by just swapping out the universal harness for a vehicle specific harness. So this is the vehicle specific harness that we just finished prototyping for the Harley Davidson Pan America. And you can see instead of posi taps, we are using plug and play connectors to hook up to the vehicle ignition and high beam here, your left turn, your right turn, and your horn. So let's go put this in the bike. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how that dialed in controller can plug and play right into this Harley Davidson Pan America. So in our first video, we, we went over the entire wiring harness of this bike. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. And we pointed out that the battery's down low, which is kind of strange, but there's some other things that Harley did that make wiring super easy. So to access all of the wiring and all the connections we need for the forward facing light installs, we only need to remove two panels. So this side panel comes off the bike with about four screws and that's gonna give you access um, to the battery and all the uh, a place to route all the wiring up to your lights from your battery. 
The fairing piece here, the front fairing, just uses four bumpers, so that comes right off the bike just that simply, no tools needed. So here we are, everything is exposed, and we can do the whole wiring job from here. So here's what that dialed in controller looks like installed on the Pan America. We've got the controller unit right here, right directly next to the battery. And we've just hooked up the ring terminals. There's a nice slot directly next to the battery to, to um, house that nice and tidy. Then we've just connected to the battery and then we've routed that harness right up alongside the factory wiring. And if you hug it nice and tight to the bike here with some zip ties, that back cover, that side cover jumps right on and hides everything up. So the wires are routed up here into the neck of the bike and we used the plug and play adapter that we just showed you to plug into the left turn signal, the right turn signal, the headlight, which is our adapters plugged in right here. And lastly, um, we've hooked up to the horn. So simply routing the wires to the battery, to those plug and play connections, and then hooking the lights up to that circuit is all you need to do to complete that install. Then you would just use zip ties to tidy up all the wiring and put all the fairings back on the bike. And just as a reminder, we've got our D4s hooked up to the blue circuit as our main circuit, and we have our DMs hooked up to the green circuit on the dialed in controller. The last component in the dial dim install is just routing the switch up to the handlebars. And there it is, the dial dim switch. We have that mounted on our universal switch mounting plate, which just bolts right into the factory perch clamp. And you can see how well that positions the dial dim switch next to the original switch gear. So we're gonna go ahead and get these fairings back on the bike so we can show you guys how this dialed in controller works. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna show you guys is the functionality of the multifunction dialed in switch, and then we'll show you what that looks like from the front of the bike. So the first thing you'll see is when you turn on your vehicle ignition, you're gonna get a green flash, and that's the battery voltage indicator letting you know that you have a healthy battery. If it wasn't healthy, you'd get a red flash. And we can see here that the blue light circuit is turned on. It's actually set to 0%, so if you wanna change the intensity, you simply just dial that up to any of the eight intensity levels around the halo switch. Um, to go ahead um, and turn that off is just a press and hold. So for that blue circuit, it's a single click on and a press and hold off. The other thing we can show you is the high-low sync. So when the lights are turned on, you can set the low to whatever intensity you want. And when you flick your high beam switch, the lights are gonna jump from that intensity to full intensity. And in this case, that's our D4 circuit. So go ahead and turn these lights off and we can take a look at the green circuit. That's a double click to turn on. And that's the DMs, same as the blue circuit. You can dial them up and down and um, it's also a press and hold to turn it off. What's cool about this multifunction switch is that you can switch back and forth between controlling the green circuit and the blue circuit with a, a double click. It's gonna bounce you back and forth to each circuits. And the switch has a memory, so it'll remember whatever you set the circuits to uh, between cycles of the ignition. All right, so now let's take a look at the front of the bike so we can show you guys the super cool features of this dial dim controller. So as a quick reminder, we're gonna key the bike on and Greg's gonna go ahead and turn on light set one with a single click and he'll turn on light set two with a double click. So we've got our D4s up top, we've got our amber DMs on the bottom and let's first take a look at our high-low sync feature. So that's what that's gonna do is when you flip your high beams, the lights are gonna jump to high, right back down to whatever you've set them on low. Now the next thing and probably the coolest feature of this controller is our flash as turn signal and cancel with turn signal functionality. So Greg just demoed that again and let me show you what that looks like. So on light circuit one, if you tap the turn signals on your motorcycle, or in this case, use the plug and play portion of that harness, you're gonna activate the turn signal feature, which is designed to cancel your main light 
and flash your second light on light set two, the green circuit. And that is exactly how we've set up this Pan America. And that's going to be the ideal setup for maximizing your visibility at night with your main driving lights and giving you the maximum amount of conspicuity during the day with an amber set down low. And the last unique feature that our dialed in controller can do is what we call strobe with horn. So that's when you hit your horn button, the lights will strobe to get extra attention to vehicles on the road. Now, it's important to note that all of these features that we just showed you, the turn signal feature, the high beam feature, and the horn feature are optional. And the way you choose to, to utilize that feature or not is just by whether you, you, you tap that wire of the harness to your bike or not. So it's really cool that you're able to opt in or out of these features without having to configure it in a software. So the last thing we gotta show you guys is arguably one of the most unique features we've ever seen in any type of lighting controller, and that's the ability to set the fuse values right from the multifunction switch. So both circuits are electronically fused, and that's what allows us to do this, and the switch is programmed for that. So we've deliberately set the fuse value low on these D4s for this demonstration, and Greg's gonna go ahead and dial those up and intentionally trip that fuse. So when you trip the electronic fuse on a circuit, that circuit turns red to let you know you've tripped the fuse. If you double click to go check out your green circuit, you're gonna see it's working normal business. And when you go back to the blue circuit, you'll see that that's tripped. That's how you can easily identify what circuit is tripped. Now, resetting that fuse is super simple. You're just gonna press and hold uh, for two seconds. That's gonna turn both the light sets off. And you continue pressing for another five and you're gonna see the flash. When the halo's flashing, that's your fuse setting mode. So blue, blue halo flashing, you're setting the blue circuit fuse, and green halo flashing, you're setting the green circuit fuse. And each of the eight positions on the dialed in controller is the fuse value. So we include this in the instruction manual, and we've actually printed it right here on the controller as a reminder, but you can see that you have options going from one amp, two, four, six, eight, 10, 15, and 20 as you work your way around that dial. So Greg's gonna go ahead and up that blue circuit to the proper fuse value for a pair of D4s, and then we'll just press and hold for two seconds to exit out. And now when he turns those D4s on, he's gonna be able to dial them back up to the full intensity and continue with normal operation. So thanks for tuning in to our development series with the Harley Davidson Pan America. As you guys can see, it really is that simple to get some of the most modern lighting controllers on your Pan America. Um, we're gonna be putting a link in the description of all these videos to our website where we're gonna have every product that's installed on these bikes, all the plug and play adapters, all of the lights, brake lights, and horns that we've used on all these installs. So uh, please subscribe if you guys want to see more videos on this bike and others. And until then, ride safe and we'll see you soon.